I think it was a great team effort. You have you have the three of us because we had our career highs or whatever. But but if, if we didn't have Bert rebounding, Bert Gergen stops or, or Toya doing what she does and, and the bench staying live, and it's, we wouldn't have been the trio that we are. So I mean, Nothing and then and then it's like the flow of the game. You know, Lady did what she's supposed to do. Pressure did what she was supposed to do. I did what I was supposed to do. So so I you know, we had we had big nights, but we couldn't have done it without our team. And in addition to that, we have no idea um, that we're making these career highs at the time. We're just playing. We're trying to get everybody into it. We're trying to generate chemistry throughout the game and keep that chemistry both in the first and second half. So definitely. And how important was this uh, to have a game like this where everyone's clicking together, um, and especially getting ready for a big, uh, maybe your biggest game of the season on paper? Like Coach, I mean, like Coach said, we talked before the game. Um, we know we didn't play well last game against America. Um, today, today was just the, this game where we just focused, just doing what we know how to do. Like this was the game we had the crowd into, we had everybody into, and everybody just focusing up, knowing that we're about to get on the road and play some tougher games. But this was a game that we come out in the first half and do what we're supposed to do, and we come out with a win. And Lauren, because these all these guys were scoring, um, talk to me about the rebounding margin. This team. I mean, is, this, is that going to be a calling card for this Duke's team this year? Oh, we definitely need our rebounds, and I'm just trying to get as many as I can. And it's not even for me; it's for my team. Yeah, because it seemed like you guys uh, are, are pretty dominant in that area through the first four games. And, um, and do you think that could be something that uh, you know gives you guys a good chance against some of these tougher teams like Maryland down the stretch? Without a doubt. Every rebound is either a second chance shot or somebody fouls you on the rebound. It's, it gives us more opportunities to score and to get better and to obviously beat these better teams or better on paper teams. So I was just um, going to ask you about Angela. She seems like she's <clears throat> obviously been a spark plug for this team for a while, but, but her aggression level, I mean, I don't think a lot of point guards will, will pass the ball, make some of the passes she does. Uh, she just seems to really be aggressive and probably has a lot of trust in you guys. But in your, in your opinion, I mean, just how aggressive is she out there when she's throwing some of these passes? Muff. Um, I don't even know how to put it in words. I mean, Muff is Muff. Um, like Coach said, this is her team. We're just falling behind Muff. She leads us the way. We do what she had, like. She tells us what we do, and we know we have trust in Muff to do because we know she's been put in situations and tough situations, and we know what she can do. So she tells me a lady to do something. Mm -hmm. She tells anybody on this team to do something. We're quick to do it without questioning her. Yeah. Angela, kind of piggybacking off that, um, you know, do you have to walk the line a little bit uh, as far as being aggressive but pulling it back? I know Coach Brooks gets in your ear sometimes about uh, you know, not being too fast maybe or, or making some of the decisions. Um, he told me he, wa he wants to play fast. Mm -hmm. So so the turnovers that I do have is definitely mine. I definitely put them all back. But I mean, I love to run. So if I can run, I'm going to run. And then, then I also know my teammates are, they're going to hit big shots. I know pressure's going to hit. I know Lady's going to run. Lady said, I'll run for you. And she don't have to, but she did. She gets the ball whenever she wanted. Um, Bert running down the lane, Toya, Toya trailing me. So I mean, they run in there in a perfect position for me to see them. I'm small, but I, I find a way to see them somehow. <laughs> I mean, and they knock down shots. And you're not afraid to take some risks. No, not at all. I would definitely uh, get in trouble in film sessions for making a pass. <laughs> I'll probably do that for it. Yes. You guys played with as a much emotion or energy as you did in the UPL game, UPLA game. Uh, was it something, you know, did you feel coming in this game that this was just going to be a great game? And did you feel particularly good going into this? 
Yeah, we feel like that about everything. Um, playing with emotion, I feel like that's what keep like that's what keeps us going. Just us getting like us. Even when let's say a lady makes a shot, I mean it gets us hype and it gets the crowd hype. And when the crowd's hype, we're hype. And like Coach said, emotion is worth eight points. And I feel like once we show that emotion, that's when we start get going. We also we also had to respond to the American <coughs> game. Also, we didn't we didn't come out with enough emotion for the American game. So you know, the the, the game after that is like come on, do us. And, and we're all about emotion, from one to five. We are all about emotion. Thank you. Thank you. Oh.